hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to solve the system of equations and find the value of x power 5 plus y power 5 but take this quick one if you are ever faced with a challenge of solving a system of equation of this nature and asked to find the value of x power something plus y power something for instance in this case x power 5 plus y power 5 you need to find two binomials that when you multiply, it will give you this x power 5 plus y power 5, okay? So, if we multiply x power 2 plus y power 2 times x power 3 plus y power 3. If we multiply this out, we're going to have x power 5 plus y power 5 as part of the terms okay so let's go ahead and multiply this out right and you know in order to multiply two binomials we will take this first term and multiply the first term here we take the same first term to multiply the second term here and we take the second term multiply the first term and take the second term to multiply the second term here okay we are just distributing these terms all right so let's go ahead and multiply it out this equals to x squared times x raised to the power of 3 equals to x raised to the power of 5 and plus x squared plus y cubed equals to x squared y cubed plus y squared times x cubed give you y squared x cubed plus y squared times y cubed will give you y raised to the power of 5 okay so let's go ahead and rearrange this all right so we have x raised to the power of 2 plus y raised to the power of 2 times x raised to the power of 3 plus y raised to the power of 3 equals 2 x raised to the power of 5 plus y raised to the power of 5 plus, okay, let's combine this. x raised to the power of 2 y cubed plus x raised to the power of 3 y squared, okay? So this is what we got. So now let's focus on these two terms, this and this. If you notice, there are some common factors, right? So we have x squared here and we have x squared here. Also, we have y squared here and we have y squared here. Okay. So we're going to have x squared plus y squared times x cubed plus y cubed equals to x raised to the power of 5 plus y power of 5 plus x squared y squared and we are left with x plus y okay this is the common terms okay and we are left with x plus y all right so i just copied this down here equals to x power 5 plus y power 5 plus x squared y squared i can write it as x times y or raised to the power of 2 into x plus y okay and i can call it my equation theory okay because let this be my equation one this is my equation two okay so i've just copied this equation down here and if you notice from this equation you discover that the value for x times y has been given already, which is equals to 3. And the value of x plus y has been given already, which is equals to 2. So if we can find the value of x squared plus y squared times the value of x cubed plus y cubed, we will be able to find this, the value of x5 plus y power 5. Okay? So... 
All we need now is to find the value of x squared plus y squared and the value of x cubed plus y cubed, okay? So let's go ahead and find those values, all right? So right now, I have written down find the value of x squared plus y squared, okay? And in order to find the value of x squared plus y squared, we need to consider this first equation, okay? Here we have x plus y equals to 2, all right? So we can manipulate this first equation to get the value of x squared plus y squared, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's copy this first equation down here. So I have x plus y equals to 2. And for us to find the value of x squared plus y squared, let's square the both sides of this equation. So I'm going to have this squared and this squared, okay? So this simply means x plus y times x plus y equals to 2 squared is 4, okay? So let's expand these two binomials, okay? Let's multiply out. So you're going to use this to multiply this and use this to multiply this and we're going to use this to multiply this and we're going to use this to multiply this, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. You're going to have x squared, that is x times x, plus x times y, we're going to have xy, plus y times x, we're going to have xy, plus y times y, we're going to have y squared equals to 4, okay? So let's combine the terms, okay? So you're going to have x squared plus y squared plus xy plus xy is equals to 2xy equals to 4, okay? Now, x squared plus y squared is here, all right? So let's try and make these the subject, okay? So you're going to have x squared plus y squared equals to 4 minus 2xy, okay? And from this equation to xy equals to 3, okay? So xy equals to 3. So you're going to replace this xy with 3, okay? So you're going to have x squared plus y squared equals to 4 minus 2 into instead of xy you're going to write 3 okay so let's go over to this side of the board so you're going to have x squared plus y squared equals to 4 minus 2 times 3 is 6 okay so you're going to have x squared plus y squared equals to 4 minus 6 is negative 2, okay? So, let's copy the value of x squared plus y squared to this part of the board, okay? So, let's copy it and keep somewhere safe, right? So, I have copied the value of x squared plus y squared to this part of the board and in our next step, we need to find the value of x cubed plus y cubed, okay? Don't forget that we needed the value of x squared plus y squared and the value of x cubed plus y cubed in order to find the value of x power 5 plus y power 5, okay? Because these other values were already provided, okay? So let's go ahead and find the value of x cubed plus y cubed, okay? So for this reason, Let's consider equation one, okay? Here we have x plus y equals to two, okay? So if you go ahead and find the cube of both sides of this equation, so we're gonna end up having x plus y times x plus y times x plus y equals to two power three, equals to 8, okay? So let's go ahead and expand this using this identity. If we make use of this identity, we're going to save time of expanding these brackets. So this simply means that 
from this identity, our A here is X and our B here is Y. Okay, so wherever we have A here, we're going to replace it with X and wherever we have B here, we're going to replace it with Y. We just follow this and it will be a bit faster than expanding the whole of these brackets. Okay, so let's just do that. So you're going to have X plus Y raised to the power of 3 equals 2. Here we have x power 3 plus y power 3 plus 3 times xy open bracket x plus y okay and don't forget that x plus y raised to the power of 3 this equals to 8 okay so you're gonna have 8 equals to x power 3 plus y power 3 plus 3 into xy here this xy equals to 3 from this equation 2 so you're gonna have 3 times and you have x plus y and the x plus y in this case is equals to 2 from equation 1 okay so this is 2 so and this is three right so you're gonna replace this with two okay so let's go ahead and multiply everything out so we have eight equals to x power three plus y power three plus three times three is nine and nine times two is eighteen okay so let's make this the subject all right so you're going to have, and let's go back to this part of the board. So you're going to have x power 3 plus y power 3 equals 2. The 8 is here already. So we have 8 minus 18. Okay. So we have x power 3 plus y power 3 equals 2. 8 minus 18 is negative 10. Okay. So this is the value for x power 3 plus y power 3. So let's go ahead and copy this to this part of the board, okay? So now, having gotten the value of x power 2 plus y power 2 to be negative 2, and the value of x power 3 plus y power 3 to be negative 10, we are going to substitute these values to this equation 3. And from there, we can be able to make x power 5 plus y power 5 the subject. And we can then find the value of x power 5 plus y power 5. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So I have just copied the whole of this equation 3 down to this part of the board. Okay? And the next step is for us to substitute these values of x squared plus y squared and the values of x power 3 plus y power 3 and the value of x times y and the value of x plus y if we substitute all these values we will be able to find the value of x power 5 plus y power 5 okay so let's go ahead and substitute those values okay so we're going to have, instead of x power 2 plus y power 2, we're going to have negative 2 times, instead of x power 3 plus y power 3, we're going to have negative 10 equals 2. This is what we are looking for. So you're going to write it again. x power 5 plus y power 5 plus, here we have x, y raised to the power of 2, and our xy is 3, so you're going to have 3 raised to the power of 2, and x plus y, and from equation 1, x plus y equals to 2, so you're going to have 2, so let's multiply this out, negative 2 times negative 10 is positive 20, equals 2, 
we have x power 5 plus y power 5 plus 3 raised to the power of 2 is 9 and 9 times 2 is 18 okay so let's call it like terms and make this this subject okay so you're gonna have x power 5 plus y power 5 equals to 20 minus 18 okay so you're gonna have x power 5 plus y power 5 equals to 2 all right and this is the final answer okay so therefore x power 5 plus y power 5 equals to 2 all right so now we have come to the end of the class and i believe you enjoyed the class please do me a favor by subscribing to my channel and clicking on the notification icon for update on my videos thank you and goodbye